Hari Om. Cultivating endless amounts of presence and sacredness will undoubtedly lead me to the life I deeply ache for. I've made habits that I would have as if I'm living completely free now. In reality, we are only as bound as we let ourselves be. Everything else takes consistency and discipline, but everything takes time. We bloom within our own seasons, at our own pace, and within our personal divine timing. Obtaining this takes certain sacrifices. My personal biggest distraction is scrolling without intention and watching TV without a time limit. ADHD makes it beyond easy to get sucked into activities that only provide short-term dopamine. Even afterwards, I still feel sluggish. So I prioritize things I know will give me true dopamine. And even on the off days where executive dysfunction gets the best of me, I no longer punish myself for getting rest. It must have been needed, right? I also became my own muse. I harnessed my emotional energy to express myself through different creative modalities and did my best every day. However, that best looks different in those moments to maintain a satisfying and semi-consistent diet and rebuild my routine I've drifted from over time. These things help bring awareness to what could possibly aggravate my ADHD symptoms or what can help kind of keep my mind at ease and keep the overthinking to a minimal so I can actually feel like I'm at least semi-productive. We are no longer waiting for the weekends to have fun either, and letting stressful adulting things dictate what fun we can have. We've learned to make the most out of every day like our life depends on it, and so far so good. Working in the garden has been exciting, spending time around the yard, enjoying the warmth and basking in our little natural world in our backyard has been so healing for us, especially thawing from the winter season. We are just so excited for everything that this season will bring and I just can't express enough how much of a rebirth I really feel during this time and that's it. The warm season is here and we are thriving. feel like I don't want my days to feel like the pinnacle of it was working and then the rest of it revolves around the fact that I worked I sometimes I'll like go out on hikes and do stuff after work because then when I get home it feels like I didn't work that day so I'm trying to like work on that like a work day doesn't have to be like nothing but it's hard sometimes too I basically just I spend a lot of mental clarity though and taking some space for myself to like figure out what I was doing and I really feel like I've been misplacing my energy or just spreading my energy too thin across different m modalities that I thought that I wanted to like do all at once but it's not the fact that I couldn't do it all at once but it's that what I was doing was straying from the few that I actually am like super passionate excited about and gets my dopamine going and trying to do things because I've done it before and I can do it again type deal if that makes sense like I've been making jewelry and like it's been fun making 
one part of it and then the other part of it just was not it. Like, I couldn't bring myself to do it. So I had a lot of incomplete pieces of necklaces and stuff like that. Simplified it. Was like, I don't need to spend an hour and a half for one necklace macrame. It looks cool, but also... Not that I follow trends, but like hemp necklaces are definitely the kind of weaned out anyways. So I was just like, why am I still doing this? I don't have time for this. I really was just like trying to get back to my roots of like why I even like vlogging and filming my life and stuff like that because I just love capturing so many different moments throughout my day, whether that's with my camera or with my phone, which my new phone that I have takes really decent videos. I have been kind of doing that again and it feels really good to just kind of be like, hey, I'm like filming and vlogging and just paying attention to where my emotional energy is going and then bouncing off of that with my creative energy and just figuring out the direction I want to take my flow in. And to a degree, I'm trying to kind of have like a single pointed focus like I would when I'm trying to get into a meditative state and put it towards like you like I have <laughs> there is so much I want to create for YouTube like I I've had ideas for years and I write them down and there's a million ideas written down but then I don't do any of it because I'm always like spreading my energy really thin and I think this past winter of rest was showing me where I can save my energy and kind of conserve it for what I actually want to put my energy into and a big one is YouTube and I have always wanted to like you know have a YouTube channel and just do it for like for fun and all the time and I've always done it since like middle school like I don't <laughs> I just always loved YouTube and so my goal it's would be a nice goal to upload twice a week because I film a lot and then because I'm just like, oh, a video a week, I'm like, what am I doing with this other film? And then I get ahead of myself and then I'm like too ahead that I start to feel like content gets too old and the ADHD brain just does its thing and <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my brain in a nutshell. Um, we're just gonna simplify this because I was also trying to do other things and the other things I wasn't as excited about and I just have to really follow what excites me because that's what my brain will be like, we have motivation for this, this is awesome, like this is gonna be so cool and I've always had motivation for this and I've always just ended up trying to do more than what I need to do at the same time. So, <laughs> what's funny is I thought I was gonna take like a month long break from YouTube but I don't even need that. I needed a break from the other stuff that I was doing that were, that's not where my energy was truly lying at. That's not where the dopamine was flowing. Honestly, sometimes when I'm like talking about the direction of wherever I'm headed, I'm just like referring to it as this is where the dopamine is flowing. I'm hoping to create more and more con uh, consistently, but also no promises <laughs> because I never know. I feel like I'm like good and I'll upload consistently for like a month or so and then I'm like mm, a week or two without uploading. This time it's just a week so I don't feel too bad about it. Um, I've been better about not like punishing myself for not like uploading or being consistent or doing this and that going above and beyond because I'm just working at my brain's best capacity and I also frequently have to remind myself that I'm doing a lot. Like outside of work, which is five days a week, I only get two full days off. And I, between time blindness, poor time management, and then still managing to come out with what I do, I do, it feels like I'm actually, like, I don't give myself enough credit, really. And I'm moving at my pace that works for me which is what I'm finding and I am I just do my best every day to try to work with my brain, not against it. And so I feel like if I need a break, I just need to give my brain that break because then normally what happens is I come back like tenfold and I can go at it for like a good period of time. Like I can hyper focus um, with whatever it is that I want to focus on. It's okay for me to move at like a slower pace because what I come out with is super unique like when my creativity is flowing, it is going. It is whew, 
And it's like out of this world to me because I am always seeking inspiration online and then I'm like not finding it, but I'm like reaching that point where I'm like, I just need to create it. I just need to be it. I just need to do it. I just need to do the damn thing. So that's, that's like where I'm at. And uh, yeah, I just keep, I feel relieved. It's been like, I've, I have been like stuck in a web of like creative possibilities and I'm finally narrowing them down to where I will actually stay consistent, get the energy flowing, stay creative, and stay on top of myself. And like I still try to hold myself accountable, but I'm just also gentle to the fact that my brain is not always gonna have good brain days. I have those brain days where I'm bored and it feels like what's the point of life and it's not in like the scary way, but it's just in like there's no dopamine going. I call them no dopamine days. Like I can't do anything and it happens and it's okay. And they don't last long. They last like literally a day and then I wake up and I'm like, it's a different day. I didn't do anything yesterday, so I'm gonna do everything today. Um, if you know, you know. I'm so grateful for, I know I'm just this tiny corner of a channel on YouTube right now, but I'm still beyond grateful for the tiny little community and audience that has built up so far. And like, I love seeing the comments and people reaching out on Instagram, because I'm just a small Instagram account too. And it, that also gives me like true motivation to just like, be like, okay, people are out here like me. This is me rambling, being kind of like open and uh, also happy. What? English. Happy Autism Awareness Month because I have, you know, ADHD and autism, Asperger's friends in my family, so I'm just like. I'm very, we, me and my siblings, we talk a lot about just how our brains work and how they're similar and how they're different, how we stim and how we like try to, how we try to cope in little things that we do. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and just staying with me here um, on this journey and yeah, I will see you guys in my next episode. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti